Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we have the best network settings to help your ping, to help your connection to your games, to make sure it's running at the maximum so you can have your best possible performance. This is a re-upload, so you may have seen this video already, but I had to get it back up because there was a YouTube studio issue I was having. Um, so if you've already seen it, skip today's video and we'll catch you in tomorrow. If you haven't tried these settings, I really suggest it because when I first posted this video, I already got tons of comments saying how much it's helped. Um, so check this out. Have a great day. Have a great night. And hopefully we'll see you in tomorrow's YouTube. Love y'all. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the bottom right hand corner of your screen, right click on the icon and click network and internet settings. I am on Windows 11 in either this or 10. You can go down to the search bar and just search for network and internet and you will find this page or something similar here. We are then gonna go to the advanced network settings. And before we go any further, I just wanna tell you guys that no matter what we change here today, you can always reset it by clicking the network reset button. So that's the good thing. These are easy changes. It seems a little complicated maybe when you get in there, um, but it's really simple. And if anything goes wrong, you can just click network reset. What we're looking for here is the way in which you connect to the internet. For me, it's ethernet. These are the properties we're gonna be editing. This is a video for ethernet um, because we're trying to get the max possible performance. Or if, if you're on Wi-Fi, this doesn't apply. I would suggest getting ethernet if you can. And then you can edit these settings by clicking here and then going to more adapter options. And again, on Windows 10 or 11, this box is what we're looking for. The path to get here might just look a little different for you. It's going to be under advanced options, more options, pro Ethernet properties. You can find it, and this is the box you're looking for right here. Um, and right off the bat, you guys are going to notice that most of these boxes are checked for you. Basically, the goal when uh, modifying your network settings is to reduce what your internet is focused on. When you get a PC and everything's default, your internet is going to try to want to connect with everything that it knows is within the system. So everything is going to be checked for the most part. Um, I know that I'm just gaming on this system, so I know that I can turn things off like file and printer net sharing for Microsoft because I don't even have a printer, so there's no reason for the internet to look out for that or be ready for that. Um, if you have anything that you know you're, you're using or need on this list, um, then of course, leave those things checked. But if you know you're just gaming, uncheck everything except for QoS, uh, IPv4, and IPv6. The next thing you're going to want to do is go into configure. Once we get into configure, we're going to simply go to power management, and you want to make sure that this is off. The reason being is power management modifies how much power it gives the system and it tries to save some we want to be using this at the max there is no reason to have this checked and now here is what's really going to make the big difference for you this is a list of things um, that your internet's looking to interact with in your network and again just like the screen before there's a bunch of stuff that you don't really need enabled when you want to make sure that you're getting the max so we're basically just going to be disabling a lot of things here so the internet can focus on the main thing which is your gaming um, now everyone's list is going to look slightly different on this page and because of that i linked an article for you below in the description that will have the different titles of all the things that you can have in this section and it will give a description you could easily just follow this video and change the same things as me and you will be fine if you want to take it to the next level and find out about the other boxes you may have that i don't check out that list read the description and see if it's something that you can disable to make your internet even better um, I'm going to go through the list that I have today because that's what I'm familiar with. We have advanced EEE, which is going to be disabled. ARP offload is going to be disabled. Max support speed level. You're going to want to click here and make sure you're on the highest speed full duplex. So make sure you're not looking at megabytes per second. Gigabyte per second is bigger. 
I have 2.5 full duplex, so that's my choice. Energy efficient Ethernet, we don't need. Flow control, we do not need. Disabled. Gigabyte light, disabled. Green internet, disabled. Interrupt moderation, disabled. IPv4 offload, disabled. Jumbo frame, disabled. IPv4 and 6 offload, large send offload, disabled. Network address you're going to leave. NS offload, disabled. Power saving mode, disabled. Priority in VLAN, you are going to have on priority in VLAN enabled. Receive buffers and transmit buffers is going to be different for whatever system you're on. You can easily leave these as is if you'd like. The higher value is better. You're going to want to look at receive and transmit. Higher value, the better it is. Mine can only go up to 1024, and your receive has to be half of your transmit buffers. That's how this works. You always want to make sure your receive is half of transmit. The max transmit buffer that I've seen is 2048, which is double this, okay? In which case, your receive would then be 1024. It can also be lesser, depending on your equipment and your um, and your max buffer size. This max could even be 512, and then you'd have to cut it in half to put the receive. So a little confusing, but it's really simple. Transmit has to be double the receive. Um, there's only a handful of values it can be. 2048 being the max. I can't get to 2048 because it limits me. My max is 1024, and half of that for receive buffers would be 512. Again, you can just leave these on default if you don't want to mess with it. You could also just test to see by putting in a higher value, like you could test 1024 in here. I'll test it for you, 1024, just so you can see. And it's going to say this value is out of range. It only goes from 32 to 512. So I know the max is 512 for receive. So that means my transmit is going to be double that. So that's just an easy way you can check. You don't need to mess with this. But if you want to make sure it's at the max, the max would be 2048 here and 1024 here. Okay, and it's all cut in half. So you could even be lower than me, um, like half of 512 or even lower. Um, we ended at receive buffers. After that, you're going to go to shutdown, wake up on LAN, disabled. Speed and duplex is going to be similar to what you did above. You're going to be looking for the highest possible value on full duplex, not half duplex not megabytes per second. If you have gigabytes per second, you want to go with the highest gigabyte at full duplex. TCP checks some offload four and six, both disabled. We already did transmit. UDP offload, both disabled. VLAN ID, you're just going to leave. And then everyone will have probably different wake up settings. You're going to want your wake up disabled pattern match disabled and this you can put to not speed down um, that is all of the settings and again if there's different ones on here that i don't have you can go to the link in the description below read the description and see if it's something that you should be turning off for your system but even if you don't want to do that and you don't want to mess with the buffers copying the settings that I just gave you is turning off a bunch of things that your internet is ready to connect to. And now it doesn't need to focus on that anymore. Now it can focus on just the game. So it is going to make a difference for you. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope it helps you guys. This is just video number two. We're doing a whole series of videos to cover all sorts of different things, graphics, display, CPU, GPU, overclocks, we're doing it all to make sure you're playing on the best possible performance. And again, um, I know some of you are going to feel like you don't want to mess with some of those extra things like the buffers and go read um, the extra options to see if you can disable it. Um, but you don't need to feel bad about trying because you have your network reset right here and you have this quick video to go back to to get just 
um, the base, the basic stuff done that's easy. Um, so I really suggest you try to fully optimize it. It's not that bad, but if you did what, what you watched in this video here and just left it, you're at least 85, 90% of the way maxed out um, as far as your network settings and the performance you can get. Um, the only thing else you could do is go to that article, read the extra things, and try to disable some more options that may be taking up some of your internet capacity. Um, that's it. That's video number two. I hope it helps you guys get some better ping, maybe a little bit less latency. And uh, whether it's your day or night, have a good one. And hopefully we see you in the next one. I'll be live right after this video posts on Twitch for the remainder of the night. Take care. And I love y'all. Appreciate you. Peace.